Hi there, I'm here at work on a Saturday. I'm just um, doing a bit more of my valve tester. Um, I thought I'd show you the progress of it. As you can see the top panel's been done. I have um, a knob here for varying the um, plate, volt, plate voltage. And this is for varying the screen voltage. And this is the bias, it's a continuous pot to adjust the uh, the bias, so it's a very fine-tuned Bourne's pot, so that's pretty good. This is the on and off switch. Uh, this is a three position switch, and the top position it will test for shorts. In that case, if there is a short, this neon will light up. And the bottom position is to just normal tension, and zero is there's no um, voltage at all going through there uh, to anything. Um, here we have an extra socket uh, you can select between triode A and triode B with this toggle switch. I've not wired this in yet because uh, I'm going to have uh, internal connections inside to uh, wire up a specific device here that's not um, ECC83 or anything like that. It's a different sort of um, different valve and I can custom make what pins I want going to wear, but being that it's probably going to have um, two um, two parts to it, a triode, two triodes. Um, I've got this switch here um, that I can probably not use if I if I don't need to. Um, this is the shorts uh, button as well. Um, so if you put it on the shorts test, you can also use the shorts button as well and you have to switch this to shorts to get into the shorts test and then second yeah switch it to the shorts test then press that to activate the shorts test um, all of these here uh, the, the red ones are the anode the yellow ones are the grid the blue ones are the uh, the grid one which is the where the signal goes in uh, you've got the cathode and here you've got the filament uh, plus and minus there. This here is going to be an audio in and audio out. I haven't finished that setup yet. Um, but I want to be able to hear what some of the valves sound like and that's the idea of that. Here's this socket for an EL34 or a 6L6 GC or something like that. This here is for a 12AX7. Uh, 1287 etc and you can select here between um, triode A and B and I have wired this one up and this is EL84 or something similar um, to that okay so that's the outside here's this is going to be connected to the um, the heater circuit or one of the circuits to show that the units on because I haven't got a neon in this switch this is an on off switch um, so I'm gonna uh, connect to the heater circuit and if this doesn't come on then I know there's a problem with the heater now on the back of this I don't know if you can see that I've got the the mains input which is fused uh, 2 amp fused and I've also got in here this is the heater fuse this is 2 amps as well so I'm going to stick this in the heater circuit so that if there's a problem in the heater circuit this fuse will go right now this is my current board that i'm using and it's a bit of a mess to be honest with you i'm not really that keen on it i think i'm thinking of um dividing the board you know making a, a different board up divide this half here which is the going to be the heater and also the bias and this half here is the high tension not these capacities all part of the, the um heater and the bias circuit. This here is a high tension, about 280 volts DC, controlled by a couple of MOSFETs here. But I'm not happy really that they're all on the same board and it is a bit messy. So um, I think I'm gonna revise that board and put it on two separate boards to keep the circuits separate because I don't want the earths to go from one to the other. And this is a heat sink that was designed to be all these components to be bolted onto. Um, anyway, it's all mounted inside here. 
to this this base and this is my transformer that I've had made up custom made up um, it's 200 volts um, and then you've got 25 0 25 for the heater and the bias circuit there they are, all coming in there now look at the wiring on here the back of here see you can see that it's um, apart from this socket which is the extra one um, things are pretty wired up um, there's the Bourne's pots which would be on the bias circuitry here uh, this is going to either this is going to be to the screen and I haven't wired up the um, anode control there see so it's all all going this is on off switch going obviously um, to one side of the um, AC inlet and the other and the other side is going to the um, transformer here so yeah there we go I've got a bit more work to do it's a massive long project this but um, it should be all right at the end of the day it should be pretty pretty accurate pretty reliable I just plug the multimeters into the top via banana plugs rather than have all meters on the front there that are very expensive I've, I bought some uh, multimeters here uh, cheaper than I could get the panel meters for so this UNI-T for example was uh, was about two-thirds of the price of a meter a panel meter dedicated panel meter thing is with the panel meters if you use a panel meter it's got to be a lot bigger than uh, the top case and I wanted it to be quite compact uh, the other thing is with these meters when you've finished using the uh, valve tester you can just unplug the meters and use them for something else so you can't do that in dedicated meters I put some nice feet on as well so it's, it's pretty much there um, I've just got to sort this board out I'm not happy with this at all um, it's a bloody mess to be honest with you um, I mean it, it's wired up all right I've retested and tested the wiring but I'm just not happy with this area here um, also it's not uh, going down it's not adjusting as I would hope it would be so I'm going to have to do a bit more work on this, on the bias. Um, the bias, you can adjust it down to only about um, 3 volts, goes from 3 volts to 50 volts, the bias, um, which is on um, this pot, by the way. That's the bias side. Uh, this is the heater side, and I can get um, 12 volts on the heater, and it will go down to about about seven at the moment so it's not quite going down to 6.3 so I need to I'm going to adjust it here uh, the the uh, heater voltage it probably will stay on 6.3 most of the time but I might in the future replace this with um, a switch which will select different resistances which will obviously this is um, this is an adjustable regulator as this is uh, this is a 4 amp adjustable regulator um, sorry, this is a, a 2 amp adjustable regulator for the bias and the heater is 4 amp uh, because it's, the heaters could take quite a lot of current and as I say, somewhere in this circuit I need to connect these which are the, is a heater fuse at the back which I pointed out so I've got a bit more work to do but hopefully if I can find the time that is because I've been quite busy with uh, with work really if I can find the time um, in fact I'll I'll get on cracking on with it now as well um, then you know it should be done um, quite soon hopefully I'm going to take it home with me as well do it as homework just get it done because I've got a lot of valves uh, that I need to test I'm still working on a, a Marshall amplifier and I'm not sure about the valves in it um, so I've got uh, plenty of use for this anyway. So anyway, thanks very much for watching and I hope uh, someone found this interesting. And I'll bring you the next part when it's actually up and running and fully working.